What's up everyone? It's your girl Shay here on my channel. If you are new, welcome back to my channel if you have been here before. And as you can see by the title of today's video, I am talking about the webtoon Our Omega Leader Nim. So I did do a like reading vlog of me basically reading this webtoon, but this time I'm actually caught up completely with the webtoon. So I decided to kind of give a little bit of a review of how I like it overall to where it is currently. Now, I do apologize in advance if I'm like, I don't know, if my voice is a little bit rough, I don't really know if it sounds weird or not, but I went to a concert yesterday and I was screaming my little heart out. But anyway, back to this review. So like I said before, I did do a reading vlog about this webtoon. So like I said, I wanna talk about it a little bit more. Now the main premise of this um, webtoon is that you have a character by the name of Choi Jinsu. And pretty much he is what is considered a Omega, but he's trying to live his life as an Alpha. And he basically runs a pack. And basically it's about him kind of coming to terms with him being an Omega as well as his relationship that he has with another Alpha by the name of Han Sung Yu. And pretty much kind of the ins and outs of like what's happening with their relationship as well as some of the political things going on in the atmosphere regarding um, their city and around the whole dynamics of being an alpha, beta, or an omega. So one of the things that drew me to this webtoon originally was because the characters in this webtoon were drawn to the likeness of the bts members now they don't have like their personalities or anything they don't, they don't even have their names the author of the um, webtoon went and like gave all these characters their own names but they're just drawn to the likeness of the members so like for example han sung yu is drawn to the example or drawn to the likeness of jungkook and then choi jinsu is drawn to the likeness of Young or v from bts park min hyuk is born is drawn to the likeness of jimin Choi Hyung Sook is drawn to the likeness of Jin. Yoon Ji Sung is draw drawn to the likeness of Suga or Yoongi of BTS. And uh, Hong Su So Joon is drawn to the likeness of Kim Nam Joon. Uh, Park Jung Shin is drawn drawn to the likeness of Jung Ho Sook. And then there's a plethora of other like characters that are drawn to the likeness of other like Korean idols like Kim Min Yu and um, Lee Hyori etc 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 so anyway basically that's what drew me originally to me wanting to read this webtoon but i have to say that after reading it like i actually no longer really read it as like this being the members of bts or involving them i read it purely as just like a regular webtoon so one of the things that i can say i really enjoyed about this webtoon was that it had such a great explanation about alpha beta omega dynamics now i am a fan of reading alpha beta dynamics uh, fan fiction or abo fan fiction and i'm a great fan of reading them i actually really enjoy it because every author is so different with how they choose to like explain those dynamics and how they choose to actually you know portray it etc etc but this one actually the author actually chose to go actually really deep into how a person gets their like second gender so of course the first gender everyone has is male or female and then at least in this webtoon you know with respect to anyone that goes by different pronouns or they or them but this is how it is explained in this webtoon and the second gender is if, whether they're an alpha beta or an omega and that is basically just a once again through genetics and they kind of explain how someone becomes an alpha how someone's a beta how someone's an omega and basically even the different sub genders within that like a you know like a strong omega or a like a sub alpha stuff like that ex stuff like that they kind of go on to explain but within this webtoon it has where Choi Jinsu is basically dealing with the dealing with him being an omega and he's a male so for him it's very rare for male omegas to even exist so he's been trying to live as an alpha and pretty much he's like in control of this pack so basically the city has packs that control different quadrants of the city and they basically kind of it's like a gang sort of mentality that they kind of have 
So it's going also around this whole political sphere regarding just Omegas in general and kind of the protection of Omegas. Because within the ABO dynamics, Alphas have what's called ruts, Omegas have something called heats, and they go on to explain that during rut season for a lot of Alphas, they will look for an Omega. And a lot of times this ends up like causing some issues because they will take an Omega by force. And basically it's basically them trying to come up with a law where if an alpha does that they can be you know a criminal they can you know go to prison they'll have to serve some sort of time because what they're doing is essentially not right it's illegal but currently in the political atmosphere that they have and an alpha does that to an omega that is in heat because they don't really know and they're you know trying to head home or whatever and they get taken by an alpha and kind of you know uh you know taken by force pretty much they will that alpha will not have any repercussions and in the current political atmosphere within this city they're trying to be like hey we need to protect omegas and we need to actually start getting repercussions to these alphas that actually choose to do this and it goes on you know talks about that and to me that was kind of like reminiscent to kind of like what happens in today's you know atmosphere as well when it goes to around the whole thing if a woman is forced a lot of the time i know men can also be forced as well but more often or more so what's talked about is women being forced and how a lot of the blame sometimes goes on to the women or all these questions are asked and that's kind of the same political atmosphere that goes on within this webtoon which was also one of the things that i actually found extremely interesting because it's added an additional plot into the regular plot of the actual webtoon so basically jensen is trying to deal with that and also trying to hide that he is an Omega from the person that is essentially his love which is interest, which is Han Sung Yu. So they do have a little bit, now we have an age gap, like maybe like a couple of years. And so basically Han Sung Yu is already an alpha and he is a like purebred alpha. So he himself is dealing with issues as far as like him being a purebred alpha and him not really living up to the expect expectations of a regular pure blood alpha. He enjoys things like cooking and domestic stuff like that and not trying to be like the strong alpha alpha that his dad was trying to make him to be and within that as a child he went through so much trauma with his dad trying to make him such a strong alpha that it actually like caused him to like lash out at his dad at one point as a child and kind of unleash what they call his inner wolf which is one something that all alphas kind of have you also have love triangles going on with min hyuk and him like really liking jensu you have different um you know love interest coming in for example you have the love interest with with Hong Sojun and between Choi Hung Suk you have the love interest then later on of Jin Sung and Min Hyuk so you have all these love interests coming in so you see all these different dynamics but overall I really enjoyed reading this this webtoon as a whole I enjoyed the drama that it had it kept me completely engaged it also had a lot of funny moments with some of the other characters that are introduced as well and kind of like how they're doing with the dynamics as as well um it does have some explicit not too explicit moments within the webtoon because the person that author does have a it seems like they have a patreon where they post more of the more explicit stuff on there so it is kind of tame or mild on the actual you know webtoon app but i still want to give that a little bit of a warning and one of the things that the author does do very well is at the beginning of each chapter they do give a warning of some of the triggers that might be involved in that chapter in case they're kind of tough on anybody that is currently reading it if they've gone through anything similar that the characters are currently going through but i did really enjoy this webtoon currently and i don't want to say it's on hiatus i don't believe it is but the author at this point has not updated since April 22nd of this year is the last time they have updated it so almost a month at this point since they've updated it it seems like one of the things that they explained where they were taking a little bit of a break due to celebrating some religious holidays and then they would come back and I'm not for sure how long it takes them to draw up a different chapter and then upload it but it is definitely a webtoon that I'm definitely going to be keeping up with because I really do enjoy it I really do love it I like reading all about it I love the romance involved between all the different couples that have now came together and I really feel like other people should read it. 
Once again, if you're not a fan though of anything like ABO or Alpha Beta Omega Dynamics as well, you don't actually need to have to read this. I just recommend it if you're someone who's into that kind of a thing. And I know some people have an issue with reading like fan fiction or anything kind of similar where it deals with real people but because this one just uses their likeness but it's not actually using their names involved it could feel a little bit different for everyone kind of involved but overall definitely recommend reading this and i feel like it's a great webtoon to read that has great romance a whole bunch of drama and also some mystery involved as well and it has moments too that it definitely pulls at your heartstrings especially regarding the character of Han Sung Yu because he has such a tough childhood and a lot of trauma and things that he was kind of going through like um, they talk about his mom a lot and how he kind of has guilt regarding some of the things that happened regarding his mom and how he kind of like had to deal with that as well as uh, him also trying to fight, I'm not even gonna say fight his feelings that he has for Jinsu, but kind of the insecurity that he feels like Jinsu doesn't see him as a romantic interest and kind of just sees him as someone that he has to take care of because um, at, this, at the time that, you know, they're writing it, I guess you can say, uh, Jinsu is kind of uh, older and he's kind of in the working world a little bit more while uh, Sungyu is still currently in school and he hasn't completely, you know, been dubbed as an alpha just yet even though everyone knows he's a pure alpha but it's it's kind of like he's kind of dealing with feeling like jinsu doesn't like him romantically and that you know him kind of being upset about that and trying to look more mature to jinsu to kind of get him to have some sort of a romantic interest which is something i feel like a lot of us has probably done at some point in our lives where we try to like try to show someone that we like that we are mature if we feel like they are coming off mature hopefully i'm explaining that correctly but anyway Overall, I really did enjoy reading this webtoon. I'm definitely planning to keep up with it, like I said before. And if you're someone that's interested in reading this kind of webtoon, definitely look it up. I read it on the webtoons app. At this time, it doesn't have like where you can only read like one chapter a day and then you have to wait a certain amount of time to read the next chapter. You can literally binge read it. And to me, this is one of the easiest binge reads I've had in a very long time when it comes to a webtoon. But yeah, that's what I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys soon with a new video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Of course, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will leave links down below to all my social media accounts. I have an Instagram, a Twitter, and of course a TikTok. So feel free to check me out on there. And like I always tell you guys, stay positive, stay nerdy, and in today's day and age, stay healthy. And of course, please stay safe. All right, you guys. Bye.